but I'm not alone. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I'm the present help in the time of trouble. And so it's through the lonely state, check this out, church, where we make foolish decisions. Uh -huh. We make foolish decisions when we are lonely. Uh, what do you do when you're lonely? Uh, uh, I heard pastor say, hold on to your salvation. Uh -huh. But uh, right now, I got the can't help it. Uh, and right now, I want to do what I want to do. Uh, but I could tell you this. Uh, 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 you will miss out on the promise of God uh, when you begin to backslide. Uh, when you begin to slip away or drift away. Uh, you will begin to move out, out of God provision uh, and he said I can't make provision because I can't see you uh, because your hands is dirty uh, your heart is not right uh, and so God is saying you want this Elijah mantle you got to deal with the lonely state these great men of God, the, the prophets, uh, they had to be deal with lonely. They, they had to deal with being oppressed. Uh, they had to deal with being ridiculed. Uh, they had to deal with the naysayers. Uh, can you deal with people when they talk against you, uh, when they talk about you? Uh, oh, my God. Uh, and so you can't cry when people are tripping. Uh, you got to remember, I have an assignment. Uh, my assignment is to please God. Uh, my assignment is to look unto the hills uh, with coming my help, for my help coming from the Lord. Uh, my assignment is not about you. My assignment is on him. Uh, say we got to get our focus on him. Uh, we on my focus is on people but it got to be him. Say it got to be him. So when we're talking about don't pepper me but push me, you know what your assignment is. Uh, and, and so so you're not tripping uh, when people don't speak to you. Uh, you're not tripping when you're not invited to the party. Uh, I thank God I'm not invited to everybody's party. Uh, I'm so happy about that. Uh, and so people feel so alone or so frustrated because they didn't get an invite. Uh, oh my God, they didn't send me an invite on Facebook. Why not? You still a baby. Uh, you still pampering. Uh, uh -huh. I, I read a post earlier uh, they saying that you looking for social media to validate who you are uh oh talk to me church uh, uh, we look for Facebook to validate uh, uh, who we are as believers uh, so what they don't like none of your posts uh, so what they not posting on your page uh, God is posting in your heart uh, God is trying to give you an up close uh, a snapchat with him uh, how about that uh, how about having some time with God uh, in the name of Jesus uh, oh my God listen to this uh, 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 I'm going somewhere the Lord has sought him for a while as he was in the condition uh, God I was looking for Elijah for a while. Reason why uh, uh, through his lonely state God had to restore him. And that's what we need restoration. We need to be revived again. We need to be restored again uh, because in our journey that what we call life uh, we need some restoration. Uh, we need to say God uh, I'm a little tired uh, but I'm not going to quit. Uh, I'm a little tired. Uh, I'm a little weary but I won't give up on you. Uh, and sometimes we get a little tired but don't quit. Uh, don't quit on God. Uh, don't stop living for God. Don't stop serving for God. Uh, don't stop praying. Uh, don't stop reading your Bible. Continue to come to church. Uh, because I'm no longer a, a baby any longer. Oh my God, I'm matured now. And so I got to continue to finish out. The Bible said the race that we are in is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but it's given to those that we endure to the end. Uh, babies don't endure to the end. They quit at the beginning. Babies quit at the beginning. They, they don't endure to the end. Uh, oh, pastor, I got you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be there for you, pastor. They quit. Uh, those are babies. They're not ready for ministry. I'm talking about real ministry. Uh, we went to the shelter, I believe, last week. Uh, we got people in there about to commit suicide uh, uh, because uh, uh, the church showed up. They had some hope. Uh, and so how can outside have hope when you dying on the inside? Uh, and so God is saying there's people that we got to visit. Uh, we need to come in the church get what we need so we can go to the homeless. Uh, so we can go to the shelter. The Bible said the son of man come to seek it to say that which was lost. Uh, he wasn't looking for those in the church. Uh, he was looking for those outside of the church. Uh, we busy looking for each other in the church uh, and there's lost souls outside of the church. <laughs> the Elijah mantle would tell you to go further. Uh, God is trying to stretch us beyond our normal limitations. Say, God, stretch me. Give God a hand, praise. 
I, I, I want to finish this. Uh, I got tons of notes. Let me deal with something here. Uh, uh, we, we talked about uh, how in Psalms 133 verse 3, how the oil flows down. Let's, let's deal with that for a moment. Can I deal with that? Psalms, division of Psalms 133. Let, let me share this with you. Stop trying to think you can pastor yourself. Shepherd yourself. Ah, uh, you have no oil. There's no oil on your life. There's no covering on your life. We got so many long rangers out there, but with no shepherds, but they want to have a crusade across the country. Who's your pastor? Uh, John Doe on the west side of Chicago. No, no, no. I don't need to follow you. You, you, you got to have some oil. Reason the oil is so important and you are connected and when you are covered, when you have a church family and you have joined a ministry, the oil helps you to slip through some things. But because you have no covering, you can't slip through nothing. It says, listen, in Psalms 133, I, I want to piggyback on this. Verse 3, it says, uh, it, it is like the dew of Hermon. Help, help me read, church. Uh, he said right there life forevermore say say God commanded the blessing uh, and so God is saying that it's the oil that runs down uh, say it runs down through the uh, we see in verse 2 I want to get there thank you first lady it, it, it says this uh, I dealt with verse 1 last week it said for brother to dwell together in what Unity. now it is like the precious what or uh, 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 ointment or oil upon the head say upon the head uh, you want your pastor to have a, a blessed head. Uh, oh, it's Shepherd's Day. I ain't giving to pastor. Uh, this is First Lady birthday coming up. You want your pastor to be blessed. Uh, you want it because when they are blessed, you are blessed. Do, do y'all get that principle? Uh, uh -huh. He said there where God commanded the blessing. Uh, it was at the headship. Uh, oh, kosher. Y'all want to start at the foot. Uh, no, it's at the head uh, where the oil begins to run down. It says right here, check this out. Uh, uh, verse 2, it is like the precious oil upon the head. What? That ran down to the what? of Aaron is running down to the edge of his garment and then it's like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mount of Zion for there the Lord commanded the blessing life forevermore it comes from the headship uh, and so God is saying that you want a pastor uh, that is blessed it's when you are blessed uh, because the oil runs down uh, and so God is saying that I'm trying to get us to the place uh, where the oil runs down uh, but check this out church uh, anointings are, are not caught uh, 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 they are not taught but they are caught uh, it's being at the right place at the right time how can the oil run down when you're not in the church can you help me with that? Uh, the oil runs down. Uh, it's there uh, where you are able to receive the anointing of God. It's there where God began to heal your body. Uh, somebody is getting healed right now. Uh, you just don't even know it uh, because you are in the presence of the Lord. Uh, now God is saying that in my presence there's the fullness of joy. Uh, I got some things to share with you in my presence. Uh, and so God is saying that it's time for us to get connected. Say get connected. Give God a hand praise. The mantle is our God-given spiritual gifts. We, we got, the, uh, uh, it's not so much behind the pulpit. The gifts are here to stir up the gifts. Stand up, D. Marchand. Stand up, young man. He's 16 years old. And a young man got already years of experience ushering. And he was here. Come on. Amen. He, he, he went to the shelter with us. Amen. And he was on the door at 9 o'clock, Benita. Ready. He's intact. His, 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 uh, he got a nice little knot. His shirt is white. His, his pants is pressed. He's ready for an assignment. He went to the shelter with us. Amen. Amen. Stand up, Sean. Sean went to the shelter a month ago. Amen. And, 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 amen. Give, give our young people a hand praise. Amen. And we're talking about the gifts in the church. It's not the adults. The, it's time for the teens to be gifted. Amen. He went to the shelter with us. Help us feed the men. And he's conducting a basketball tournament for the youth department. Give God a hand praise. Yeah. EJ and Deuce, stand up. 
Check this out. This is going to mess y'all up. These two young guys took an Uber from all the way south side, south suburbs. I'm talking about the 200s. Lee, I'm talking about the 200s. They took an Uber from the 200s of the south to come to the church. Let's give God a hand praise. Amen. Sit down, my young people. Amen. Thank God for them. So God is saying that when you want something, you just go get it. Uh huh. And so babies, they don't go get it. Uh, they want it to be brought to them. Y'all, y'all need to catch that. Uh, Pastor, you didn't call me. I'm not gonna call you. Pastor, you didn't give me a house visit. I'm not visiting you. You didn't get a text for me, Pastor. No, no. I, I, let me give a balance for my new converts and my babes. I'm, I'm still giving them milk. But for y'all folks been with me for a while, no, you ain't gonna get nothing because you should be helping me. No, you ain't gonna get a text from me. I'm not pampering you no more. I'm gonna push you. Now, my new babes, I'm gonna give them what they need. Uh, but as far as you being here for a while, it's time for you to grow up. Say, it's grow up. Give God a hand, praise. Now listen here, give me about uh, uh, 10 minutes. I got to finish this uh, uh, lesson off here. Uh, the mantle is God-given spiritual gift. The Elijah mantle required commitment. Uh-oh. When commitment is not there, uh, uh, you will be toddling the fence. Uh -huh. When commitment is not there, we, uh, uh, you will be unable to make tough decisions. Uh huh. Unable. Let's let's support this in scripture. Let's go to Luke. Uh, I'm a teaching uh, pastor. Let's go to Saint Luke chapter 14. Say someone say commit commitment. Don't pamper me, but push me. I'm pushing you towards commitment. Luke chapter 14, verse 27, and we're gonna do verse 23. Uh oh. Thank you, sir. He said, yeah, Jesus is talking. Thank you, minister. You're right. He's doing a lot of talking. And read. And listen, verse 27, whosoever or whoever does not bear his cross and come what? He cannot be my disciple. See, babies can't carry a cross. Only those who are mature should be able to carry a cross. You're not my disciple because you're unable to carry your cross. The cross is something sometimes you live with. Uh -huh. The cross is sometimes uh, you got to deal with. Uh, and so God is saying, you cannot uh, 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 follow me because you're still a baby because you cannot pick up your cross. We want to throw down our cross. But God said we got to embrace our cross because I read earlier that remember the Elijah mantle is commitment. Uh huh. Is dedication, is determination. Now he said, if you're gonna carry your cross, you got to follow me. You got to carry it. It's rough, but I'm carrying it. Uh, I'm crying it, but I'm carrying it. Uh, I'm frustrated, but I'm carrying it. I'm irritated, but I'm carrying it. Uh, I don't know what to do, but I'm carrying it. Uh, I don't know how God gonna do it, but I'm carrying it. Uh, I lost my job, I'm still carrying it. I got a uh, health issue, but I'm still carrying it. Can you carry your cross? And you throw down your cross, and then there is no commitment. And then there is no spiritual gifts. The spiritual gifts is to help one another so the church can grow. Why did uh, Jesus tell Peter, upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it? Uh, because it's the people, we are written epistle, read of men, it's the people that moves the church. Let, let me share this. I, I'm going somewhere. I, I, I won't go with the notes with this, but I paraphrase my notes on this. Check this out. Jesus did not feed 5,000 with two fish and five loaves of bread. Jesus did not do that. Jesus fed over 5,000 people with two fish and five loaves. No. Guess who did? His disciples. 
Y'all see that? His disciples did that. Uh, he spread them uh, to his disciples. Uh, y'all want pastor to do everything. Uh, but Jesus did not feed them. His disciples did it. Jesus just blessed it. And he gave it to the disciple. And the disciple dispersed it out. What are you giving to people? Uh, are you feeding the people? Uh, are you helping the people? Or are you still crying over the people? Uh, are you still uh, uh, just boo-booing all over the people? What are you giving to people? Don't pamper me, but push me. Uh, uh, I, I said mess. I said last week, uh, uh, we changed so many diapers spiritually in the church. It stinks. Wow. Yeah. And it become messy. Yeah. The church folks can't be messy because you stink. It's time for you to grow up yeah. and mature and say, I'm ready to take on this mantle. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Give God a hand praise. <laughs> Verse 33. Let's go to uh, uh, St. Luke chapter 14. He says, so likewise, help me read church, does not forsake what? Verse 33, help me read St. Luke chapter 14, verse 33. So likewise, keep reading church. If you don't forsake all, you cannot be my disciple. Yeah, I, I don't want to let it go. You're not ready uh, because the Elijah mantle calls a sacrifice. Oh, wow. You got to sacrifice and let it go. Say, I got to let it go. Amen. Listen to this. The requirement for the Elijah mantle uh, is total surrender. Uh, without total surrender, we cannot be his disciples. Say, so you cannot be it. When we totally surrender, we receive. When you totally receive, when you totally surrender, write these uh, bullet points down. You receive power, prestige, and possession. My God. When you totally surrender, you receive power, prestige, and possession. Uh, I noted here that Elijah and Elijah was an ordinary man, but became extraordinary you know how because he was available to the Lord are you available to the Lord uh -huh. and so God is saying that uh, uh, I want to do something new in your life uh, and I want to help you grow I want to help you be mature but it's time for us to grow up uh, because it's time for us to take on this Elijah mantle uh, to pray uh, without season to pray continually don't give up in the fight uh, because the enemy is trying to strip you of your identity uh, it's trying to stop you saying that, that he, you, uh, uh, you cannot make it uh, you cannot survive this test say I am a survivor huh? I am a survivor come on stand to your feet give God some praise come on hallelujah hallelujah 